Hey guys, yesterday we graphed all kinds of functions. Today we're going to look at two different things of so piecewise functions and also talk about the vertical line test just real quick. So here we go. First of all, it's piecewise functions. You've seen piecewise before. We plug numbers in. Now we're going to graph them. It's going to be loads of fun. Can't wait to do this. Here we go. First of all, we're going to graph the function just as it says. This is cool. Um, we're going to graph this part, which is a parabola. Remember yesterday, x squared is a parabola. 2 and slope intercept form, 2x plus 1 there. Here's the best way to do this. The best thing to do is take the number they give you over here and plug that in. So I'm going to take that number right there, plug it in there. 1 squared is 1. So I plugged in 1, I got 1, which is right here. So I'm going to start right there. Um, and because it says less than 1, plug in something less than 1. I plug in 0. 0 squared is 0. Plug in negative 1. Negative 1 squared is also positive 1. So what's happening is I'm getting my parabola. Negative 2 squared is 4. Okay, so I'm going to get this much of a parabola. It's going to look like this. It's going to keep on going. That's the part, That's the piece of the parabola that's less than 1. Then for my second part of the graph, you don't have to change colors. But I'm going to do to make it easy for you. So do the same thing. Plug in 1 again. Start by plugging in 1 right there. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So I plugged in 1. I got 3. Now this time, I'm making an empty circle because there's no equals 2 there. Okay? Now, because it says greater than 1, I'm going to plug in the next number over. Plug in 2. If I plug in 2, 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So plugged in 2, I got 5. And guys, that's all I need on this side because that's a line. Remember from yesterday? No exponents. That's linear. It's a line. It's just going to do just like this. So that's what piecewise is going to look like. It's going to be two different pieces of two different graphs. Okay? So get used to that kind of look. Let's look at one more. All right. Let's start here. These are both lines this time, by the way. So I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to plug negative 1 in there for my x. And if I plug negative 1 in, I get positive 1. So I'm going to negative 1, positive 1, empty circle because there's no equals here. All right? It says less than negative 1, so I'm going to go to the left. I'm going to plug in negative 2. If I plug in negative 2 for that x, that gives me negative 4 plus 3. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1, which is down here. So I plug in negative 2. I got negative 1. Because it's a line, all I need is two points to make my line. There it is. There's that one. I'm going to change colors again. Just make it easy for you to look at. Negative 1. I'm going to plug it in there. 3 minus negative 1 is the same thing as 3 plus 1, which is 4. So I'm going to go negative 1, 4. That's filled in circle because it has equals. And it says greater than, so I'm going to go to the right. I'm going to plug in a 2. Sorry, plug in 0. If I plug in 0 in there, 3 minus 0 is 3. So that graph is going to go down, which makes sense because there's a negative slope. So it's going to do just like this. And there's the piecewise. So again, you draw a a piece of each function. That's all you're doing on a piecewise graph. And start by using those numbers. It makes it so much easier. All right, last thing, vertical line test. The vertical line test uh, says a graph is a function if and only if no vertical line intersects the curve more than once. Okay, so these are already done for you, to be honest with you. If you look down here, this first one, see how the vertical line crosses that one that ellipse more than one time, hits it twice, so that would be not a function. So, you know, we say it's not a function, it's not one. This second picture, no matter where you draw a vertical line, no matter where you draw it, you can just hit the graph once. So that is a function. Yes, that's a function for sure. Let's look at two more. This third one, vertical line again. If I draw a vertical line, I cannot hit it twice. I can just hit it one time, just intersects it once. Um, so I'll put yes, that's a function. And the last one over here already has a vertical line drawn. And it's hitting it like three times. So that's a definite no. Again, a vertical line can only hit it once. Because if it hits it more than once, think about this. This is, this is awesome. If it hits it three times, that means that x value right there, that x coordinate for all three points is the same. Remember the definition of a function, every x can have exactly one y. Well, that x right here has one, two, three different y's so it's not a function that's awesome okay so we'll work on these tomorrow the piecewise graphs and also the vertical line test this is maybe the shortest video in history enjoy and i'll see you tomorrow